Hey everyone, Jeff Teague here. I'm really excited because teaser number two just dropped. That's right, we got the latest teaser of the sixth generation Toyota 4Runner 2025. Found a quiet place to work here. So take a look here at this teaser. It's a video and it's somebody very happily sitting in their all new next generation 4Runner. And look, we've got the power vertical window and it's operated right up top, sort of like we see in the new Tacoma. This is very exciting because this is something that people wanted to know right away. I don't care what the powertrain is. I don't care what the interior looks like. It better have the power vertical window. So we can see that we successfully have this. This is super exciting stuff. Can't wait to look at that again. And looking a little closer at this picture here, now we see those tail lights. They're beautiful. We can see the full view. Looks like we've got around the window here, we've got gloss black accents. Looks like heritage blue to me. I think that's gonna be the color of the silver roof rails and I see the gloss black shark fin antenna. Oh, so much going on here. To me, it looks like a 14 inch Toyota audio multimedia screen. So you'll have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, lots of intuitive conversational voice commands that you can give the car. And I don't even know what we can see here. It looks like we've got a little view on the right hand side of the dash at maybe the air vents, potentially. Is that a digital rear view mirror I see there? I can't tell from that one. Of course, Toyota's written out there. And then we also have those triangular on the side of the, the plate right there on the tailgate. We see the triangular buttons, the lock and unlock buttons. So those are there. This is all way overwhelming to me. This is super exciting. So we get a view of the inside and a view of the outside. Look at also the side view mirror. So it looks like we've got a camera down underneath there on the side mirror. Um, looks like it's gonna be kind of rounded, kind of squared off. Hard to tell from this particular one. What else can I see? Looks like old bleep handles in the second row, so you'll be able to jump up in there. That's kind of nice if you have back problems, hip problems. Looks like it also has perhaps a tuning dial for maybe the radio or the volume. That might be nice. Oh, what else can I see? In a little tiny hand, I see a push button start up there, and I also see an all new multimedia screen. So that's definitely one thing we've got there is we've got a color screen, color multimedia. It's probably gonna be a 12.3 inch screen all the way across. Wow, there's a lot going on here, isn't there, my friends? What is all that? Looks like it is a digital rear view mirror, but I can't tell. And up top, what do we have here? Is that a camera for the digital rear view mirror below the brake light? So that's a possibility as well. Wow, this is super exciting. Let's keep going here. Scroll up, scroll up. Looks like it has a key slot on the tailgate. Yeah, nice chunky tail lights, but very modernized here. It's gonna be super exciting to see. And we also see on the side, look how it flares out on the side. So it's got some definition, some contrast to it. It's gonna be more of a wider stance down there as it bows out. Oh, so cool. Look at the sharp lines here. Oh, stunning. Absolutely love this. For this section here, I wanna walk around inside and out a 24 Forerunner so that you can see what it is now because we gotta to look to the current before we look to the future and see how it will evolve over time. I'm assuming we're gonna have a modern, tough, aggressive front end, similar to what Tacoma is. I think they're gonna be brother and sister vehicles and they will share so many common traits. We're gonna have aggressive, more modernized headlights, daytime running light design, fog lights, maybe there, maybe in a different spot, who knows. I assume we'll have a Toyota Heritage grill on some trim levels, or at least an upgrade option. The grill will be modernized. And I think it's gonna be, I don't know, it just feels like it'll be more boxy or similar to what we see in like a Land Cruiser type thing. I don't really know about the sizing, whether it's gonna be bigger, smaller, the same size as Land Cruiser. We just don't know that yet. Wheel design, hard to say what's going on per trim level, but I would assume because Tacoma wanted to have each trim level for the 2024 next gen, each trim level is unique and identifiable distinctly. So you'll know each trim level by how it looks. And I think that's how 4Runner will be too. The 
design here. I assume it'll be boxier. Not sure on that one. We'll have technology like Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. I would assume would be in this one here. This is TSSP. That's the original Toyota Safety Sense Pedestrian. So it'll have a lot more things like proactive driving assist, lane centering, road sign assist, things like that. We'll have the roof rails up here. I would assume auto lock on probably just the front doors. We could have a trim level like a limited where maybe it's on all the doors. Don't know that one yet. Maybe some cool steps. Who knows? With the current 2024, we do have the power vertical window and where you see that button is gonna be in here. Center, stack. We just turn this one on and then that button right there and you can see it goes down, it goes up. Perfect for puppies, perfect for kids, perfect for people wanting to get air and feel the rain and the mist and the sun and the chi, all that stuff while they're driving from the back. The 2024, the interior, it's tall, it's boxy, so lots of room to store things, things like that. And look, I can put a seat down and it's relatively flat. I can put a seat up. There are tie downs. There's plug in right over here so you can do 400 watts of power. You can also do on certain trims, third row seating. That's nothing, so it's an empty spot, or you can have the sliding rear cargo deck, so it'll be interesting to see what's different there. Now the back seat area here, we've got a nice chunky armrest. It'll be interesting to see what they do with the cup holders here, and I see lots of room. I also can fold the seats this way. You put the seat bottom up, like that. Fop bottom girls, you make the rocking world go round. We've got rear air here, USBs here, so this will have five USBs. It'll be really interesting to see how many USBs are in the new one. Connectivity is the name of the game, but there's good headroom, really good legroom, I think. And then the console here, the dash. What do we have? We've got an eight inch screen. That's as big as it gets. What's the top size on the new one? Will it be 12.3 inch, 10 and a half inch? No way. Will it be 14 inch? Probably so, if the Tacoma has it, then I think Forerunner will have it too. Look at the controls. They're gonna be all modernized on the steering wheel. This display will be completely different, much more modern. And then where will we have our instrumentation for things like crawl control, locking rear differential, multi-terrain select? If I had to guess, I would say they would not be up here. They're gonna find a way to put them down here. And I'll bet that window right there goes up here like it's in Tacoma for that sliding window. Look at the styling here because when we see the full interior, I assume this is gonna be very modernized. Will there be a shelf here like you see on Tacoma and a lot of the other Toyotas? Little secret pocket there. I assume we'll have more integrated stereo system or multimedia system in here with the raised screen, something like that. Will we have the chunky dials? The shifter, where will that be? The two wheel, four wheel, TRD. And then this design right here, will that be the same on certain trims? Nice big storage pocket here, moonroof. These are soft tech seatings. What will the materials be? Leather maybe on the limited? Will it be soft techs on all of them? This is the all new 2024 Tacoma TRD Sport in underground color. Maybe some styling cues. We can get some hints from this one here. Who knows? We've got. Again, modern lines, bold over fenders here. It says Tacoma, I would assume it'll say Forerunner in that modern headlight. Will it be the same headlight style? I don't know. How about the grill design? See the fog lights are down here, so maybe they'll be there as well. We'll probably have front parking sonar on maybe one or two or three trims, who knows? And then if we wanna go over to the interior, I can show that one a little bit. Let's see, turn this sucker on. There we go. See it has the 14 inch, it's got the screen, upgraded 14 inch screen. Also has the JBL portable flex speaker that you can take out, put it in the back. You can all have a little beach party there, so that would be interesting. This one has things like heated seats. I'm, I'm assuming some of the trims will have heated seats, cooled seats, 
just like this? Could it be more modern? I just think it's going to be very similar to this one. I don't know if it'll have the handles or anything like that. I assume we'll have a button or a dial like this with the drive modes, maybe multi-terrain select, locking rear differential down here maybe. Will it have sway bar disconnect? It should. I would think it would for sure. So what else do we have? We'll have a push button start in a lot of them, I think. And what I was saying was this is where the Tacoma button is to slide. Hey, Savannah, I'm getting you in the picture. There we go. So this one opens from top just like that. We're coming around here. So maybe the vertical button will be up here for the power window, sunglass holder, all those kind of things. Maybe one trim or two trims will have a digital rear view mirror option. That would be cool. And then look at this 12.3 inch screen. We could do probably some things in our settings where we could change. Let's see, let's do our meter settings. Maybe you could change this to this. And then back again, we could change our meter styles. Tough, smart, casual or sporty. So I think we'll get a display similar to that one. And then this particular one, we could have our radio be like this. So we can swipe, zoom, point and flex, all that kind of stuff. Look up categories. You could do, hey, Toyota, tune to Sirius XM channel nine. So it could do that when I come around. So yeah, all those things that you can do. And what do we think the powertrain is going to be? Probably going to have the iForce and the iForce Max. So it'll be the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, probably eight speed automatic transmission, I'm guessing. And then we'll have the iForce Max. That'll be the hybrid. So it'll be a lot of power. It could be something like 326 horsepower, 465 pound-feet of torque, because that's what we get on the Tacoma iForce Max. Maybe that's what it's going to be. All right, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. we got to get this video rolling with comments so we can see what you guys think about this one. Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you woo? Thanks so much, and remember to check out my 4Runner playlist. I'll see you guys next time. I'm at Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, and Auto Jeff Reviews, same platforms. See ya. That's right. Click that 4Runner playlist. We have so many videos dedicated just to your favorite body-on-frame SUV. Check it out, and thanks for being here.